Dreams do come true for UP high school volleyball teams. Good evening, everyone. I have always wanted to visit the city of Battle Creek, and for one reason only, to see the Kellogg Company. My dream is to get a tour of the facility because I want to know how they make Pop-Tarts. Several high school volleyball teams want to go to Battle Creek too, but not for the same reason. They want to punch their ticket to the state semifinals, but they had to get a win tonight. We begin in Munising with the Class C quarterfinals between Calumet and Houghton Lake. First set, Copper Kings ahead big and looking to add more. Brooke Karanimi with the kill as Calumet took the first set, 25-12. Second set, Bobcats on the attack. Amber Johnson digs, Bria Johnson sets, and Leah Bajorn spikes. Calumet clicking on all cylinders as they take the second set, 25-23. Third set a lot tighter towards the end. Kelly Ignat's spike will go out of bounds as the Copper Kings are now at match point. And moments later, Bobcats get the ball to the net and Bajorn gets the block to end it. It's another road trip for Calumet as they sweep Houghton Lake 3-0 to advance to the state semifinals for the second straight year. Last year we were just like, okay, I mean, like we're here, like sweet. But like this year we're like, okay, well, we can make it to that final match, hopefully, and we know that we can. Last year was just kind of like, uh, oh, this is crazy. Like, we couldn't believe it, but this year, it's doable. Yeah, we're excited. Um, you know, like we, like I said before, we've been working on this all season. This was our goal to get to Battle Creek. Now that we're there, we got to keep going for two more games. I think uh, for the girls, it's, it's familiar. They know what to expect when they get down there, and so I think, you know, that helps a ton. The Copper Kings will now face Bronson Friday at 2 o'clock down in Battle Creek. This is a rematch of last year's semifinal match where Bronson swept Calumet. Let's jump to Class D action now. Quarterfinal down in Manistique between Rudyard and Munising. First set, Bulldogs serving. Marissa Ackerman digs. Emily Contreras sets. Michaela Werner comes up with a spike. Mustangs out to a big lead early on, so they stick with what works. Contreras to Werner. Bada bing, bada boom. Munising would take the first two sets. Rudyard came back to take the third. So in the fourth, with the Mustangs at match point, Ackerman serves, and the Bulldogs would make too many hits. And the Cinderella run continues as Munising knocks off Rudyard 3-1 to make their first trip to Battle Creek in school history. It feels amazing. We've worked so hard for this. Our school has never gone down this far. Um, we worked all season long, and it's a great feeling. We had to be patient. We waited for them to serve at us. Um, we couldn't just go swinging at everything. We had to make sure the ball was there to get it to kill. I, I don't know if it's sunk in yet. It's been a magical season. These girls are just playing unbelievably well. They're working together. I just can't ask for anything better. We've, we've got to focus on the same things that's got us here, you know, and that's our that's our passing and our and our game of uh, of making good passes and setting up our hitters and letting our hitters do the work. And you know, we've got them. We've got some hitters on our team. And as long as we can stay with our game plan, I think we're going to fight as as hard as we can. The Mustangs will face Fowler this Thursday at noon in the Class D state semifinals in Battle Creek.